Hi, I'm Kim Edgington. I'm a biomechanical engineer at Burtek Corporation. I mostly work with athletes. I make them jump higher and run faster. Biomechanical engineering has to deal with how engineering can be applied to the human body. In some sense, that may mean watching and understanding how people run and walk. It also includes areas like the design of backpacks, car seats, tennis shoes, and products that you use every day and work with. In one sense, biomechanical engineering is the design of comfort and what we would call ergonomics. So do things feel safe, comfortable, do you like them? One of the projects was what we'd call an instrumented starting block. Starting blocks used um, by the Olympic track team in Japan. And what it does is it measures how much force your feet push off on those starting blocks when you start the race. So we started from scratch, sat down at the computer, did some sketching, did some computer drawing, started working towards what was going to work and how is this going to fit to the existing starting blocks making sure that it matched what they needed, make sure that it was giving them the time and the force and that they could use the information that our device collected to help improve the um, running performance of their athletes and really learning what made a good start, how they could help their athletes be better and, and faster and stronger. We have lots of meetings where we sit down and work together I do a lot of work on the computer. For example, when I was doing the starting blocks project, I would come in, I would um, work on what we call CAD, computer-aided design, and I would do the drawings, and I would build the design on the computer first. I would do a lot of meetings with other engineers to make sure that the pieces I was designing would match the overall product and what the customer wanted in the end. On the occasion that I had something else to think about in terms of um, a customer that maybe wanted to know what sort of what their data meant. Um, they might call me and I would be the one to answer, say, send me your data. I'd look it over, for example, with the track starting blocks. The track team would say, here are the results we're seeing and we don't understand why. Could you make sense of them? So a lot of what I do is kind of playing detective and looking at the data, trying to piece it together and learn why things are happening the way they are. I also do a lot of research in terms of reading and understanding what else has been done my role is to learn as much as I can about the human body and about physiology and how our products can best be used to meet our customers' needs. If you're interested in engineering, I would definitely recommend taking the classes in high school that will best prepare you, like the math and the sciences. That I, and, um, but I also think that something that's missing is considering art and English and the creative aspects that go into engineering because engineering is also a lot about being creative and so solve puzzles and play in the marching band and do all those extra things because that will actually make you a better engineer too. I think a lot of engineers really love being able to share what we do with other people. So find someone who's in the position, contact them, email them, and I'm sure um, shadow them. Go, go to their job, see what they do. I think that's always good. Um, the reason I went into engineering was because I saw hands-on what the field was about and got to ask questions and say, this is what I want to do. So I'd highly recommend you learn about what you want to do. I never knew I wanted to be an engineer. <laughs> um, when I was in probably 10th or 11th grade in high school, I wanted to be a um, teacher for the hearing impaired. I was sure of it. And I had a chemistry teacher who knew that I was very good in science and math. And I'd um, been in his class several times. And he stopped me in the hall one day. And, I think you should really think about engineering. And there was a um, engineering institute, they called it, a summer camp, so to say, a week-long summer camp about engineering. And he really encouraged me to go just to find out if I might like it. And I said, OK, I'll go. It sounds like, like fun to at least meet some other people. I didn't know much about engineering at all and I went and what was really neat about the workshop and similar workshops are held all the time which 
I never knew about, but um, once you go, they start telling you about different types of engineering. And the thing people don't understand about engineering is that it's so broad. Just because you don't like one thing about engineering doesn't mean you're not going to like others. Um, I've known people who do work similar to me, a biomechanical engineer. They might work for a roller coaster company. Um, they may design, you know, roller coasters at Disneyland. So just because you might not like what I do or what someone else does doesn't mean that engineering's not for you. And that's what I learned by going to the summer camp. Oh, I love my job. Um, I love getting to work with people. I went into engineering because it would let me work with people and help them and see the end results. And right now what's really exciting is to know that our products and our work are truly helping people all over. The starting blocks that we developed were actually for the Japanese Olympic track team. And so to know that the products that we make are being used by people who are at very elite levels of competition is very important. And that's really neat to work one-on-one -on -one with people. For example, athletes who have had ACL injuries were able to say, look at your improvement, measure that work with sports injury, preventing the injury, and then rehabilitating and showing that they're going to get better and we're going to be a part of that, and that just excites me so much. If I had to do it all over again, I would definitely still be an engineer. I get to do a lot of traveling. Um, I get to present my work and meet people, and it, it's really, really fun, and I really enjoy it. <laughs>